Thank you. I am Tumweba Zewire from Uphill College, Chigoma. I'm a teacher of ICT who has attended um, a one-day workshop held here at uh, Mbara Secondary School organized by Shearability Uganda Limited. Uh, it has been quite um, a good experience uh, learning from experts and of course sharing with the peers, the teachers of ICT. Uh, you see ICT is evolving every day. So when we meet as a group in a workshop, having good uh, instructors, we learn new techniques, new things, and Mr. Makarere Rogers has been so instrumental, and I think he's helping us as ICT teachers. So in a nutshell, we have really benefited. As for me, I wish it was maybe extended to three days or two days. Maybe next time organizers will look into that. And the good part of it is that we are able to have um, some materials with us. And so those who have not attended have really missed. Next time such a things are organized, they should attend. Thank you. The website is a collection of hyperlinked web what? So if you have only one web page, that's not a website. So my friend, you are going to now create for us a second page for about, and then you hyper what? These skills are important. Don't teach learners web design using something you just drag a drag and you think they have learned web design. They need to first learn coding. That's when they will become developers. Are we there? We are building learners with the competencies, not learners with the papers. I've given you, by the way, all these codes. They are already in the CD there. We have given you WD3 schools. It has all the codes. Are we there? Now, how is he going to create another page? Very simple. You are going, either one created this other page. So he has, well, this man is very fast. He has, do you know, did you see how he created another page? Eh, you first delete your page. And I don't want you to call it ICT, call it about. Members, I'm about to finish HTML thing so that we can go into WordPress. And we, WordPress is also another thing that will take us some time. So, now, we said to create a page, in this case, I can right click on this one and I just duplicate. I can copy this one and then I can just right click and I say paste. It will create a second page of the, with the same code. Are we there? Then I just edit that one. Rename, right click and rename, call it about. Right click there on that one we have created. Right click, rename. Okay? Now, where there is uh, this other our office, okay, let us remove that. We can put there something else, maybe our activities. We shall put there something else. Now, here, where is, uh, this is our club website, learn and enjoy. Just say, we are, type there something else, say, we are, we are, ICT club students of Mbara Secondary School. Did you see how I made the second page? You click on File Explorer to go back and see your files, but you never open the folder. The first thing you were supposed to do was to, to first create a folder and open. No, but you're not supposed to use the other side to manage files. VS Code can do it, so you need to open. Where is the folder? This one, eh? open this folder so that it is accessible within the editor. Okay? My name is Oscar Nyaksinga. I'm a teacher of ICT mathematics. I teach in Indonesia Peace High School, Rwampara. Uh, my way to here, I just was following the WhatsApp group of Vitao. That's why I got the information and the, I picked the interest. I mean, the workshop is about the website using different programs, but initially me I was using the notepad. So I had enough experience and a notepad, but since now they are using the V and the, the WordPress, I think I will not face a lot of challenges because it is a, just a matter of copying and inserting, which will be a bit more easier. Mm -hmm. 
than the coding the other ones. So, yeah. The ones on ground, I'll give them that skill. That means the school will also benefit. If I give it to the learner, the community, the school will benefit. And I'm likely to share it, though I use my own costs. That is the money, not the school funding and whatever. But I'm ready to share. Uh, mainly for UNEP, it will, de it will depend. Because it will depend on the learners, the capability and the strengths to employ it. But most likely, we shall try. If we find that it is more easy for them to use it in NEP, we shall use it. If it becomes too complex, we shall use the simplest. Because now we have a variety of programs one can use to do the, the, the NEP papers. Uh, at Eason School of Computing, I teach web design for 12 weeks. And for us here, we are here for one and just a few hours. So the first promise I want to tell you is that you are not going to learn everything in one, but let us agree that we can get the basics. We can get the basics. I was introduced to WordPress particularly in 2000. There was WordCamp, Kampala in 2018, and I was invited like any other teacher like you by Rogers. So we went to WordCamp in Kamocha, and we started learning WordPress like you're here. Now, where the challenge was, I have taught computer for 15 years, but now I'm talking about 2018, and I didn't know how to build a website. So when I went to WordCamp, I was like, what has failed me to, to practice and be able to do websites in all the other 15 years? Okay, maybe 10 years or so. So I was like, I think there is a problem. I wanted to learn everything in one, in a day, just very fast. Eh? And then I realized I think it was the wrong way to do it. So I decided that I would maybe get one aspect at a what? at a time. So when I went to WordCamp, I remember they taught us how to install WordPress in five minutes. Now for me, I am learning how to do these things offline now. Yet I learned WordPress in 2018 and practiced in 2019. But this is when I'm using offline, of offline an offline installation. Why? By then, for me, I could afford a server. The day Rogers came and told us, I bought, I bought a domain and, and the hosting immediately. So whatever I was doing, I was doing it online. But now you come to a school. How, how, what solution do you have for a school without internet? And even if you had internet in this computer lab, these are maybe more than 40 computers. Getting internet that can work on 40 computers is not something that is easy to come by. There are a few fortunate ones, but not everyone. So that means I had to practice a lot how to do things off, offline. So I used a tool called local WP. It makes things so easy. You can write local WP. Oh, WP local. I forget which, which way, which way. But you write local WP. It's one word. But the WP is a capital. So now, the problem we got with local WP, I remember we were teaching at Mengo, we are introducing the, the computer the computer club, we are introducing WordPress to them. And local WP, how do they call Okubola, Vox Osora? You would put on this computer, it would work, and this one it wouldn't work. So out of 60 computers, you had only 20 which were what? Working. Then many computers have Windows 7. Local WP on Windows 7 was disturbing us a lot. And then even their support was not easy to get by. Because I remember I had an error in local WP. I, text, I, I texted one of, a, of the colleagues in the, in the community, and he had no idea. I wrote an email to local WP, and I've never received the email up to now. Now you're preparing students for your name, maybe. And there is no support for local WP. So I said, I think. I should go back to Rogers' videos and 
relearn how to install a, a tool called ZAMP. ZAMP will help you set up a server on your machine. My name is Aebo Elbrod. I teach at Ian College in Zonde, teaching ICT. I'm happy for the interview. What you have experienced today with shareability. One, having a new topic which is web design. We have also seen a new thing, and we are happy for shareability taking us to new things which is web design. And for those who have failed to attend today, my request is at least share content, uh, especially for those teachers who have attended today, because the thing is, we have been green about web design, so teachers who have not attended, meet teachers who have attended, share content with them, such that you take your learners through web design as a good topic, such that our learners should benefit, especially in this training we are in, of the new curriculum, which is hands-on. Uh, my name is Bamre Chesevia. I, I teach at St. Charles Tagata, secondary school, mathematics and computer. I came to this workshop to learn more about web design. I had learned it at campus, but still, I had forgotten some skills, but I have regained some other skills. My name is Mtunja Polo. Senior four, Barra Secondary School. And my name is of Magara Richard, Senior six, Barra S Secondary School, Chizongo. So, as we, as viewers, you are seeing us with my team, we have been handling this issue of programming since we came to this school, Barra Secondary School, from 2002 to date. So we have tried. So some programming languages we have we have succeeded learning them, such as HTML, CSS. Cascade styling sheets, JavaScript. Still, we are still learning up more programming languages as my teammates were seeing them here. So, from after learning those programming languages, we developed an idea of developing a school websites, of school websites including our school here and by a secondary school, which was hosted by Shabirita Uganda. Thank you much, Shabirita Uganda, for the support you have given to us for hosting our school website. So. Now, for today, I'm so, I'm so grateful. I, I don't know how I can appreciate Shabiri to Uganda for the support they have given to us with my teammates, for the seminar they have given to us, or a tutorial of how to handle or how to upgrade the knowledge in programming by t teaching us more new skills such as WordPress, ZAMP, WAMP. Also, elementally, we have used Astra. So those programs which I have said, they help us to design dynamic websites. We, as my team members, we have only the knowledge of designing static websites. But the coming of the Shareability Uganda Limited group has embedded us more skills which will be used to design up more websites until today. Thank you much, Shareability Uganda. Thanks for your support. May your work continue in safe, safely. May the Lord upgrade more knowledge so that you can deliver to the nation. Thank you for what you are doing for the nation. We have two competitions we are going to take place. One it is this month, which is coming. Another one it is in July. One is in Masaka. Another one is Kampala. So I've, we have been given a chance to join those competitions to show, to show up our experiences, to show or to get ideas from the, those people whom we are going to meet there because no man is an island. So I thank Shabirita Uganda Limited to give us that opportunity to go there to join those competitions, including Masaka and Kampara. And indeed, we have to join. We are ready. What they have given us is enough. We are going to upgrade our knowledge. The ideas they have taught us, the skills, we are going them to use to come up with something which is new.